Alrighty, this week we're celebrating Utah State Parks and showing you how you can enjoy the beauty of the state. But whether it's bringing plenty of water, wearing sunscreen, or checking the weather, every park has their own caveats. I decided to visit one I love to learn about the best way to beat the bugs that call Antelope Island home. It's looking more like a lake now. Um, there's a lot more water in Farmington Bay, which is over here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely um, nice to see water again out on the lake. It's right out in front of us. It really was. So that's Assistant Park Manager Wendy Wilson. She gave me the tour and explained as the waters and the Great Salt Lake rise, so does the attendance to Antelope Island. And everyone who visits will notice the battle of the bugs. The island is home to dragonflies, midges, and the most notorious, the biting gnats. And they're also known as noceums or just plain jerks. They are jerks. <laughs> they just, they're just, see, I'm just, I'm just itching because um, they're biting me. They're, they're, they don't respond to insect repellent. Like anything we've tried, even those that say like, this is for noceums or this is for biting gnats. Um, it doesn't work. So despite bug spray not working, there are some things you can do to protect yourself from those bugs. Wendy says you can wear long sleeve shirts, pants, and even a head net to keep the bugs away like she's wearing right there on your screen. You can also plan to visit on windier days or come out when the temperatures drop. But you did mention, what, which I thought was interesting, there's gonna be a point where these guys are gonna kind of burn off. Yeah, so once, so the temp, they come out when the temperatures are about 55 to 60 degrees, and they stay out until they're about, about 90. So once it gets really hot during the summer, usually end of June, early July, the no scenes will be gone, and then, you know, then you're just kind of dealing with, you know, other things like deer flies that you can put bug spray on, or the non-biting, um, midges that are on the causeway or the brine flies along the beach. Those come out in huge numbers as well, but they don't bite. Oh yeah, so even with the annoyance of the bugs, Antelope Island, it's picturesque and it's worth the trip. And in fact, you can see nearly everything the island has to offer from the bug free safety of your car. So that's always an option. A day visit to Antelope Island, it's 15 bucks per, per vehicle or $5 for motorcycles. And camping on the island is between 20 and $40 a night, depending on if you need water and electricity. So for more information on this park or any of the others across Utah, just go to stateparks.utah.com. Gov. And I'm surprised I did not get bit like crazy. I was prepared for my scalp to be itching. <laughs>